in reproduction. Okay, yeah, the recording is in progress. So in this session, I want to discuss with you two things which I think can help, will help your business to grow. You know, in South Africa, they say, uh, means I want wealth, I want money. So I want to share with you two things. One is the business building system and number two, uh, goal setting. Why is business building system is important? The reason Betty and I joined this business is to be able to build a business that grows with or without our direct intervention. That is really the goal of the business, to give us financial and time freedom. And that will only happen if you understand what the business system is. I think I've mentioned in previous training sessions or even in the presentation, what a business system is. A business system is, um, let me just get to my slides. A business system is a series of tools, procedures, or ways to run a business that you teach the people in your team to be able to run the business even when you're not there. If you want freedom in this business, if you want uh, to be able to enjoy the benefits of the business, you need number one, to understand what the system is. Number two, to duplicate the system or to plug your people into the business system so that the business grows with or without you, okay? So I remember when we started the business, every Monday we would have training. Every Thursday evening we would have business presentations, week in, week out, week in, week out. And that's how we grow our business. Now, why is a business system important? A business system is important because it enables even people who are new in the business to be able to grow their business without being able to know to do certain things. For example, uh, when we started every Monday evening, we would have a presentation. And this presentation was conducted by an experienced leader who went through the speaker training. He was trained on how to do the presentations properly. He was trained to do the, the business presentation as a professional. So what the, pro, the distributors would do was to invite prospects to have a look at the business. That is really what the essence of the business is. So what is our business system? How do we run or build our business that with time, the business grows with or without us. The first thing you need to do is to, you need to develop your own personal enthusiasm. Why is it important for me to mention this? Because this nobody can do for you. Nobody can actually do the enthusiasm for you. I see four hands are raised. Uh, Fonelli, Leso, Philip Ngeno, Juliet Ondiro. Um, I don't know whether there's a problem. Paul, can you still hear me? Yes, Pascal, we can, we can hear you. Okay, thanks. Okay, so the first thing about our business system, you need to have personal enthusiasm. Why is this important? This is important because remember, birds of the same feather flock together. That means that what will attract people to the business is your enthusiasm about the business. If you're not excited about the business, if you don't have enthusiasm, enthusiasm about the business, you will not attract anybody to join the business. So the first tool of our business system is your personal enthusiasm. Enthusiasm comes from the word and fear, which means the God within. That's the power within you to actually, that drives you to do the business. So that's the first thing about the business. The next thing are the tools. What are tools? Tools are things like videos, CDs, magazines, uh, uh, brochures, things that have been professionally done to help our business to grow. And the reason why it is important to use CDs and videos and magazines is because they are professionally done. <clears throat> you see, if I want to prepare my own magazine, I mean, so I, I may not do a very good job as the company does or your, your team leader does. So 
The tools are things like videos, CDs, uh, magazines, uh, brochures, things that you can send or give your prospect to go and have a look at. That's the second thing about a business system. The third, now this is an activity. Three activities, that grow your, two activities that grow your business on a weekly basis. One is a weekly business opportunity presentations. This is when distributors in any region, in any area, in any market or town, meet once a week for somebody who is experienced to pre present the business. Because of what has happened the last two years, we've been having business opportunity presentations every Monday at 7 p.m. South African time or 8 p.m. East African time or 6 p.m. Uh, West Africa or Nigeria time. This is where somebody experienced presents the business idea, presents the business opportunity to our prospects. Now, since the restrictions on gathering was lifted, this has now become uh, presentations, physical presentations in various places. For example, I've just received a notification from Paul that there are going to be uh, presentations in some, rich, some areas in, 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 uh, in Kenya, for example, Kericho, Bungoma, um, and I think Kakamega. And then tomorrow there's a meeting in Eldoret. Uh, every, I think every Thursday or Wednesday, there's a meeting in Nairobi. So there are meetings everywhere within the market that you're doing business where leaders organize for you to take your prospects to have a look at the business. Apart from weekly business opportunity presentations, we have weekly training events. For example, a training event like this one. The training events are uh, events that are there for distributors to learn how to build the business, to learn about the products, to learn about being a business leader. Those, that is the reason for the training events. The, the, the other uh, event that is important for our business is a monthly recognition rally. Why is this very important? Because recognitions for the thing we do is one of the deep desires that human beings have. The desire that we, we actually, we, we are recognized for the things we do. So the monthly recognition rallies are very important. Whatever uh, area you are in, link up with the upline leader so that you know where the monthly recognition rally is going to be. For example, for the month of uh, uh, September, we're going to have the month East African recognition virtual for next week, Thursday, at around this time. So monthly recognition rally, uh, whatever, whatever market you're in. And the reason we, it's important for you to attend this is so that the people who work in the business get recognized for the success they have. Number six is the annual New Life Convention. Uh, I think for the first time in East Africa, more than 1,100 people joined the business in the East African region. What does that tell you? That there are still very, very many people who have had, not heard about this good news of new life. So the annual convention is when people meet in a region to share success, to share their stories, to share the excitement about what the business can do. In Southern Africa, the next one is going to be on the 14th of October, 2023. It's called the Impact New Life Convention. It's going to be in Pretoria. In East Africa, I'm not sure of the date, but I know it's going to be most likely in Dar es Salaam because the people in Tanzania are really, really setting this business on fire. Number seven is the annual team weekend rally or weekend function. This is when teams uh, arrange to meet and record. First is training, two, recognition, three is to inspire people who are in the business for greater heights. I think there's going to be one in um, Nairobi on the 22nd and 23rd of uh, October. Uh, I think there's also going to be, uh, okay, the one for West Africa and Ghana has already been done. So. These are part of the business system that helps your business to grow. If you're new in the business, make sure you plug yourself into the business system. 
And then number eight is a team incentive. Team incentives is when the team leader gives small incentives, apart from the incentive the company has, each team leader has a separate incentives for their small team in order to grow the business. So this is what constitutes the business system. So if, if you're a distributor, whatever market you are, make sure that you plug into the business system. And the personal action on your side should be doing the four basics constantly. Uh, name list, you invite people, you show them the plan, you follow up. Daily reading and listening on to CDs, to have a good and positive attitude and then using and retailing products. So this is what our business system is that keeps our business growing. But now let's talk about uh, goal setting. Why is it important to set goals? Because we cannot hit a target we don't see. If you don't have a goal, make having a goal your goal. All right. It's very important for us to have goals because it gives us direction on where you want to do or what we want to achieve. Very simple steps. Step number one, you need to define your goal. What is it that you want to achieve? Okay. Second num step number two, prioritize your goal. Let me say you have well, three or four goals. Which one is the most important? Which one do you hold dear? So prioritize your goals so that you have something specific that you want to achieve. Number three, quantify your goal. If you cannot measure it, you cannot manage it. You need to be able to quantify the goal and keep that goal in your mind. Number four, set time frames for your goal, the goal you want to achieve. By what date do you want to achieve this goal? Number five, prepare a plan of execution for the project because it doesn't matter how big or how exciting a goal you set. If you don't prepare an execution, a plan to execute, nothing will happen. Number six, what are the resources you need to achieve that goal? So these are very simple steps for, for goal setting. Define your goal, number one. Number two, prioritize your goal. Number three, quantify your goal. Number four, set a time frame for achieving that goal. Number five, prepare a plan of, of execution. Number six, what resources do you need to achieve? Let's see, let's have a look at a, an example. Step number one, define your goal. What is it, for, let me say you've got three things you want to achieve, to buy a car, to buy a house, um, yeah, let me see what this is. To buy a house or you want money. So people have got different goals. And what is the goal that you want to achieve? The next thing, prioritize your goal. Among the three things you wrote in step number one, which one is the most important to you in step number two? That means what do you prioritize? Where are you going to focus your energies or your effort or your focus? Let me say from the three things you wanted to buy a car, a house or get money, you decided, okay, my priority is money. Why? Because you, with money, you can buy a car, with money, you can buy a house. So money. Number three, quantify your goal. How much do you want? In this example, let me say you want to earn $1,500, $1, okay? Next step, set a time frame for achieving this. Let me say by the 30th of April, 2023, you want your income to reach $1,500 a month from New Year Life. That is step number four, set a time frame. Step number five, prepare a plan for the execution of this goal, okay? What is a plan that you can uh, prepare to execute this goal? Remember that to be able to reach $1,500 a month, you need to reach the level of Sapphire Director or above. That means your goal is to build a business that is able to generate 10,000 group PV in a month. Going one step further, this means you need to build a team of at least 100 active distributors in your team. If you have 100 active distributors in your team, you're likely to reach the target of 10,000 group PV. Very important thing that if you really capture the essence of what you're discussing, this will become true. 
have a clear DMO, daily method of operation. Daily method of operation are the things you do every day called the income producing activities. Your daily method of operation should be something very simple that you do every single day and you track what you're doing, okay? Daily method of operation, for example, you decide that every, every day I'm going to talk, show the business to two people. Every day I'm going to increase the number of people I know, add two names to my list. Every day I'm going to read a, a good book. This is called daily method of operation. It's what actually drives your business. Number six, what resources do I need to achieve that goal? You need a name list, step number one. You need to develop some skills, the skill of inviting, skill of uh, showing the plan, the skill of following up, and the skill of starting new people. You need time as a resource for, build, for get, going, achieving your goal. Three to four hours daily me method of operation. If you're full-time, maybe more hours. If you're part-time, two to three hours. So make sure you have a daily method of operation and you track your activity. For example, on Monday, uh, how many people have you shown the business? How many calls have you made? How many follow-ups have you done? How many, uh, how many customers have you serviced? You also need airtime and data because this business requires you talking to people, sending them videos, excuse me, sending them information so that you can actually build your business. So you need uh, to buy some airtime and data. You need a vision board. Why is this vision board very important? Because the vision board keeps you focused on what your goal is. In fact, if your goal is to become a Sapphire director, put that on a vision board so that every single day, you know you're working towards <clears throat> that goal and that goal you need to achieve by the 30th of April, 2023. So have a vision board of all the things that you want to achieve. And number two, you need to look at the vision board every single day. If you keep, if you do this, if you do this, you'll find that your business will actually begin to grow. So ladies and gentlemen, those are very simple steps or ideas on how to build your, uh, the goal setting process. Let me come back to the business <clears throat> of goal setting. Now this is specifically for, uh, about the business. Let me say in October, you, you split your goal into personal PV, uh, personal sponsoring, group PV. This is somebody who is starting the business. Let me say you're starting the business <clears throat> in October and you want to get to director at, uh, by the end of February or March. So split your goals into three. One is a personal PV, two is personal sponsoring and three, is group PV. What will be a group PV for all these months? Okay, so October, your goal is to do 300 personal PV, to sponsor three people personally, and group PV of 500. November, 300 personal PV, personal sponsoring three, 1,000 group PV. December, 400 personal PV, three personal sponsoring, 1,500 group PV. January, 500 personal PV, four, four people personal sponsoring, 2,500 group PV. February, 500 personal PV, sponsoring four people, 3,500 personal, I mean, group PV. March, 500 personal PV, three personal sponsoring, 5,000 group PV, you become a new director. So. Make this goal setting process very simple. Make sure your, your, your effort is directed towards achieving these goals. And if you do that, you will find that actually the people in your team begin to duplicate or copy what you are doing. The challenging thing is if you're not doing anything, guess what your, the people in your team will do? They won't do anything. So set simple goals, sit down with your team members, your if you're a director, sit down with your executive managers, senior managers, directors, even new people. Set this, I mean, the month, of, uh, the month of October has just started. So set the goals for the month of October 
of personal PV you're going to do, uh, personal sponsoring you're going to do, and then group PV you're going to do. If you plan these simple things very well, you have a daily method of operation, you will find that your business grows because our business follows very simple laws. The law of sowing and reaping. If you talk to people, some will join. Our business follows the, the law of increasing returns. If you spoke to 10 people, one may join, but out of that one person, you can get 100 others. The law of increasing returns. Then the law of delayed gratification. If you start sowing today, you won't have it today. It takes a whole growing season for your business to grow. So those are the three simple ideas I wanted to share with you. The idea about taking advantage of the business system. Number two, goal setting. Simple process, have your target, and if you focus on the business, your business will grow. Just a final thought I'd like to leave with you. You know, many times when you have challenges, we complain, we say things are not working well. This morning I was listening to Dr. John Maxwell and he said, every miracle starts with a problem. Look at everything in life. Every miracle always starts with a problem. The question is, what problem do you have in your life? Paul and all the distributors, uh, Betty and I want to thank you so much for spending this evening with us. We wish you every success for the month of October. And uh, the month is just one day old or two days old. Set your new goals for the month. And when the, half, when the month is halfway, check your goals, reprioritize, make sure at the end of October you've achieved your goals. Thank you very much. Good night and God bless. Thank you, Pascal. Thank you, Betty. Thank you, everyone. Good night. God bless you. Bye-bye.